Good day friends, it is me HL Mod Tech, and a user reached out asking how can you make chains for a realistic swing set? I've got a strategy, so let's get cracking. Of course, step one is to click new and choose 3D design. I believe the most authentic ones are going to be made with something called the bent pipe. So let's type bent and then bring it out. Now it's initially laying down and it's one quarter of a pipe. Watch this. Instead of 90, let's do 180. And then you can start to see what I mean about that being a chain link. Now right now it's freaking huge. So let's use something closer to what a chain link. Let's try five. Do not worry about the wall thickness. It is going to connect. And you can see that's pretty close. I'm going to change these parameters instead of stretching it. So let's try 20 and let's try five for each of these. And you'll see that as we adjust these, the measurement starts to look a little closer to what it would look like for a real chain link. Let's go outer pipe of three. And then we're gonna do that diameter down to 10. So now this is getting closer to one centimeter. I think that is pretty slick. You could play with these numbers to find the exact amount you wanted. Maybe something like 8 would even look a little closer. And then we're going to do Control D. Let's flip the second one this way. So you can see that they're exact opposites. I'm going to close this and I'm going to click on the work plane. And let's click on that one and hit D to drop. So you can see, boom, that is one piece of chain link. I'm going to take those and I'm going to group them. I'm going to stand it up 90 degrees. Notice if you stay inside the circle, it goes 22 and a half degrees at a time. If you come outside the circle, it goes one degree at a time. Let's do D to drop, and then I'm going to use this for my swing set. Now I know my swing set is tiny, so I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to shrink this to a size that'll work. I think five millimeters is pretty slick. All right, friends, this is going to get pretty cool right here. Let's do F for fit view, back up just a little bit. I'm going to set my nudge to 0.5. I'm going to do control D. I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. I'm going to type the 90 and press enter. I'm going to control up to raise that up. And I want to make sure I get it past half. Now, friends, if you don't touch anything else, it memorizes those movements. And are you ready? Your chain link gets built as many times as you do control D. Now, I'm going to take this chunk of awesome chain link and I'm going to save it as a part that I can always use again and again. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to switch to my creations and I'm going to create a new shape from that it will forever be available to me for any project I do. How cool is that? Friends, we need to have a break from that. I just figured out this was a poor choice because if we do the second one and we pull it up, it will not be aligned the right way. Now we could simply rotate it 90 degrees, but it would be smarter to do that ahead of time. So right there, if I do 90, boom, I'm good to go. But let's be smart from the get go. Let's go back to my creations. Let's click on this one that I decided I don't like. And we're going to teach you how to delete these as well. There's my confirm. So friends, what I am saying is if the first one is going this way, the last one has to go this way. Now I'm going to select my part. I'm going to create a shape. Once again, we're going to call it chain. I'm going to put the word swing. And I'm going to put chain and I'm going to put link right here. As I told you earlier, I never locked the part size. And friends, we are going to hit save shape. Once we bring the shape out, check this out. We can do control D and we can do control up arrow. And when we've got it where we want, if we don't touch any other keys and do control D, it'll continue for as long as you want the chain to be. And because we have saved it as a shape, it uses less Tinkercad resources, which is awesome as you're making bigger and better projects. 
Friends, one other thing as I wrap up, I want to thank the user Brian that recommended this project. I think it is totally cool, and I totally appreciate when viewers are giving me ideas for my next projects. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.